Hi, everybody. Yay. All right, we'll give it a second, let people join. Let me get my lighting resituated here. morning good morning or afternoon or evening or <laughs> I'm not sure where it is everywhere yay hi guys hi Shannon all right so I mean I'm just cutting it's nothing like crazy today I have some patterns sitting here that I've been wanting to cut out so I thought I'd get on and chat. We can cut some patterns out, talk about stuff, and be productive. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Midday. Yeah, it's like, what is it here? It's almost noon here. My daughter's gonna be home a little after one, and I have to, and I'm going to lunch with her. So I have about an hour. I would have gotten on sooner, but I got distracted cleaning up my sewing room. I was putting stuff away, clearing stuff out. I was feeling a little overwhelmed with how crowded it was getting. So here we are. Hi, Annette. Yay. <laughs> Sydney, my boyfriend must know when you go live. He always calls right before. <laughs> That's funny. Um, Carol, I just started. You made it just in time. So welcome, welcome. I have a couple of patterns sitting here that I've been wanting to cut to sew up. The first one, I'm not sure how to say this, it's from Shambhala. Pakira, maybe, or Pachira. This one right here, it's the smaller one. She came out with two different bags. Um, I forget what the other one is called, but this one's the smaller one of the two, and I just thought how cute that is. So I'm gonna cut this one up to sew. I kind of have my stuff. I, this one's gonna be crazy. I'm gonna do this awesome print that I got from, I think this was Tay Tay's, right? Tay Tay's Custom Fabrics. And then I have these solids from Indo Love that kind of match perfectly. So I will do kind of a mix and match with this one. It's gonna be bright and crazy. I kind of love it. I'm excited for that. <laughs> Yay. Awesome. Lots of people hopping on. Hello to everybody. And then the second one I wanted to cut out is from K. Dale Handmade. The, oh, I want to say it's the Road Tripster Tote. The Road Tripster Tote. I don't have a picture of this one up here, but I can pull it up on my thing. It's just a really cool tote for road trips, uh, for traveling. So I wanted to make that up and she has a mini version of it coming out which was just adorable she's just shared a picture of it i don't believe it's come out yet but the mini one just looks amazing so i'm going to hopefully get both of these cut out today i don't know if i'll get them all interfaced but hopefully we'll get that far all right so i'm going to start with the shambhala one i have so many i have so many bag patterns laying out here to cut and make and just not enough time in my life. All right, so here we go. Hello, hi from Quebec. I just ordered from your site yesterday and it's on the way already. You can thank Missy for that. Missy's a workhorse. There's, there's Stacy. Yeah, Stacy, I'm using your fabric you sent. I freaking love it. I'm so excited to use it. Okay. How do I get notified when lives are coming out? Uh, Marcy, I'm not very good about pre-planning my lives. It's kind of just, I do it when I'm, uh, <laughs> when I have time for it. So, but turn on your notifications uh, for my channel and uh, most of the time you'll get a notification right before I go live or get on my Facebook or my Instagram and I always put there if it's pre-scheduled or if I'm going live, 
I always put up a little link on there as well. Okay, so I've got all my stuff here. I think the only things that have measurements are the straps. And it looks like that's it. Everything else has pattern pieces, which I have right here. So I don't really need this. I just need the pattern pieces. And I need my picture because I'm not sure what's what. So mm, I wonder if I should have pulled it up on here. We'll figure it out. Here we go. Okay, I'm going to move the camera kind of down and in so you guys have better view of my table. And we're going to start. I am rerunning that print now for the third year anniversary this week. Okay, so this is a print. This, uh, <laughs> I want to call it Lisa Frank leopard print is available right now on Tay Tay's Custom Fabrics. So go check that out. I will try and link everything below after the video and have all the links there for you. Okay, Gypsy Woman, I just finished making the fold over. Fiona fold over bag, I'm like, I love it. That's awesome, that's a cute one. All right, so I'm just sorting my pieces real quick because I haven't had time to do that. Lining, exterior, exterior lining, exterior. It's nice. They ha She has a good explanation of what everything is on these panel pieces, so I think I'll be okay figuring that all out. Yes, yes, stabilizer. Exterior. I don't need the zipper facing. Um, stabilizer. Exterior. <clears throat> Sorry. I meant to do this before and I didn't. Okay, so that flat panel, what's that? Flat panel. Hmm. Oh, okay. That's the little, that's the thumb lock flat part. Okay, we got it. And lining. So the lining gusset and the exterior gusset are different. Okay, there we go. So I think for the lining, I'm actually, ooh, should I do this for the lining too or a solid for the lining? Because I want this to have a pop on the exterior of the bag. We'll start with the exterior. I'm not sure what I want to do for the lining yet. All right, here we go. Sorry, I talk to myself a lot. Well, that's what I do during this whole video, huh? And I might have to change my blade. Okay, let's do it. Solid for the inside. Yeah, I could do a solid canvas for the inside. I wish I had this blue. That would be so pretty. But maybe I'll do a pink. I don't need, I don't have green, I don't think either. All right, I'll find a solid for the inside. Teal or hot pink or lime green. I know, I wish I had a lime green canvas. Do I? No, I don't. That's okay. We'll figure it out. All right, here we go. Do you restock your thread? Tech 70. I mean mountain package. Yes, I have a restock coming of my threads always. Copycat. Did I copy something, Leslie? <clears throat> All right. So I want this one to be this bottom piece here. Ooh, the yellow. I think I have a yellow. Let me go see real quick. That would be a good one. I might have a yellow. Ta-da! Yes. Okay, we're going to do yellow for the lining. That's perfect. Front pocket. I'm pretty sure that that is this bottom part right here, which is what I want. So I'm going to do this first. Is this directional? Hmm. You just did two map packs with Neon Leopard. Oh, yeah, you did. <laughs> you did, Leslie. Maybe that's why this is calling me. 
I've had it sitting on my table for a week though. Oh, it's a good choice. Yeah, your map packs turned out so awesome. Hi, Savannah. I'm sewing a Shambhala, or I'm cutting out a pattern from Shambhala, the Pachira or Pakira. I never know how to say these names, guys. Uh, I'll look up the pronunciation before I do the video. I'm <laughs> sewing it up. That's usually what I have to do. Thank goodness for Google, right? All right, so that is my front pocket section B, fabric A. Oh, I need to get more of these little clips real quick. Just a second. They're all over by my sewing machine. Okay. Any stock of clips. What other piece do I need to do that? I need to do that front panel. Top right or top left? I need the top left. All right, here we go. <clears throat> Charlie, I'm going to write a pattern for the sole purpose of giving it a nice Chechny. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, goodness. I might go take the kids to visit my sister this weekend. So I might be at Susan's starting Friday. So that's gonna be fun. All right, so that's done there. And then what's the back look like? I didn't even think about that. What's the back? Front pocket, back panel top. So that's the back. Back pocket, that's the back. So the back must be just um, these two. Front pocket, contrast band. Come on exterior. <laughs> I should have uh, pulled up a picture Front and back, okay. I think for the back, oh, Marley, do you want in? Come here, baby. Here, you come in. <laughs> My door's so heavy with the vinyl, she couldn't get it open. I think I'll have, ooh, should I have this on the back? I'm gonna do this back pocket with the leopard print because I freaking love it. Let's just do it. I think it'll be cute. Why not, guys? Why not? Go big or go home. Hey, Missy. Could you bring in the computer for me real quick? I'm going to print off a picture of uh, the back of this bag so I can see it. gonna be the back. <sighs> thank you, thank you. You can have it back in like two seconds. I'm gonna send us to the printer. Okay. And then can you print it off for me? Yes. Thank you. What am I printing? <laughs> All right. Ah. There's still no picture of the back. There it is. I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> I 
All right, I need to print this page off. Whoops. Print. Oh, did I send it to the right printer? No. Yeah, I did. Thank you. You're okay. We'll get that printed off. I changed my mind. I don't want to do this for the... I'm going to do a solid, and then this back panel, I'll do this. Changed my mind after seeing that picture. See? It helps. Hello from Washington. Does Tay Tay ship international? Stacy, are you still on here, and do you ship international? That is the question. I like that better. Let's do that. She does. Yay. She does. Hi from Denmark. Okay. And then I want to do my pockets, my inside linings and pockets in this as well. We'll do the like actual lining part with the yellow. Thank y'all. Okay, so this is what the back of the bag looks like right here. So I'm going to do this top part with the leopard print and then this with a solid and a solid. That's a good reference picture, probably better than the front one. That's a really cute bag that I chose to go off of. All right, let's do that. So I want to do my lining real quick. No, pockets, pockets. Stabilizers. Sorry, sometimes it's a little stressful when I've never uh, cut out a pattern to do it on a live because I mess up quite a bit. <laughs> Front panel, bottom. I want that in the leopard. Back pocket lining, front pocket lining. I want that in the leopard actually. And then zip pocket piece. I'm going to do a zip pocket piece. And then these ones, back panel. This is my lining. This is my gusset. So that will be the yellow. Back panel, bottom. And then the rest of this will be the leopard print. Okay. I'm glad I figured that out. Here we go. There's Susan. What's up, Susu? I just told him I might be at your house this weekend. I have no idea how you cut on live. I would be so confused. Well, I do make lots of mistakes on cutting it out the first time. So it's not always <laughs> correct, but we learn from my mistakes, right? At least that's what I hope we do. <laughs> All right. This is going to be such a cute, fun bag. I'm excited to sew it up. All right, so that's my back panel bottom lining piece. I will have to interface all this. It is a canvas, but it's kind of a thinner canvas, so I'm still going to put uh, a layer of just some woven on it. I think it'll be perfect. All right, next one. Back pocket exterior. No, I don't want that piece. I want this piece. All right, here is my pocket piece, my zip pocket piece. It says it's optional. I am going to put a zipper in it. I do love zippers. You better come. Well, Susan, here's the deal. I don't have my normal car. I have a rental, which isn't as big. And so I was originally just going to bring the dogs with me. But now I don't know if the dogs and the kids will fit in the car. So I need to see if somebody will watch Oakley for me this weekend. So if Sebastian can watch Oakley, then we'll come. Because my kids really want to see your kids. 
And our school starts on Tuesday, which is so crazy. Kind of dumb. Way too soon, but it starts on Tuesday. So it'll be our last little summer trip. All right, there's my lining pocket. And then my front pocket lining and my back pocket lining. I need two of these. Pretty sure that's what it's telling me. I will watch her. Send her down to Georgia. <laughs> that would be fabulous. I just noticed yesterday this darn dog. She, um, my back fence corner, she goes over there and barks at my neighbor's dogs. They kind of bark back and forth at each other. But she has jumped up on it so much that it's loosened the whole post out of the ground and my fence is completely falling apart. It's falling down. So now I need to hire somebody to fix that and I have no idea where to go. So if anybody knows of anybody in Parker that knows how to fix a fence, <laughs> give me a call. Oh man. I hate owning a home sometimes. All right. This doesn't really have a directional print that I can see, so I'm just kind of cutting it however. And I'm sure my neighbor just loves me because it's knocked down half of his fence too. So that's always awesome. Making friends. All right, got two of those. I'll text subs. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. We'll see if he does it. And then what else? I need a front panel bottom piece here. And then I think I'm done with this leopard print. Hello, Brenda from Texas, welcome. Yeah, our kids start way too early and they also, I think, you know, we have this thing called fall break in October where they get an entire week off in October, which I think is kind of silly because in the next month we've got Thanksgiving and then the next month we have Christmas. I just, if they cut out fall break in October, gave them more summer, another week of summer, that I feel like would be so much better for those kids. But you know, I'm not in charge of school, so <laughs> what I think doesn't matter. Ay, ay, ay. All right. All right. Hopefully this is all correct. That's my front panel bottom lining. Let's move on. Let's put this away. So glad you're using that fabric. I love it. I know. I love it too. Kind of my jam right now, all these bright neon colors, kind of amazing. And I have enough that I can do maybe two more bags with this. Okay, let's get out some vinyls. I have green, pink, and black that I'm going to do. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna use all of them. I think for sure I wanna use the green I'm like looking at it now. I think for sure I want to use the green for um, this and this back panel piece. Yeah, let's do that. The fabric came from Tay Tay's Custom Fabrics. Can Annette, did you link that yet? Or Leslie or someone, Tay Tay's Custom Fabrics. If you haven't, could one of you link that for me? That would be awesome. 
She doesn't always carry this print. It's, she just brought it back. So it's, if you want it, go grab it. Feeling the 1980s vibes. Yes, Lori, that is exactly what we're doing. <laughs> All right, so this is my back pocket exterior. So the back of the bag. That slip pocket piece. Okay, got that. All right, and then I want, I have to flip this over so I'm cutting it the right way. I want that front top right piece. Yep. Perfect. <laughs> Hi, Katrina. Swag sisters. <laughs> You're all on your phone. No worries. Where's Brittany? <laughs> Where's Brittany when we need her? I will link it in the description below when I am done with the video and it's all... Um, upload it. So just if, stay tuned for the link in the description below after the video. All right, so I've got that piece there. And then I need this front section A. Marjorie, you have inspired me to make four bags. I have learned so much. Thank you. You are so welcome. You should post your makes on our Facebook group so we can see them all. That's awesome. Where did the fabric come from? Tete's Custom Fabrics. And then all of this vinyl that I'm using is Indo Love Creation. This, what size is this rotary cutter? It is a 28 millimeter rotary cutter. It is my favorite. It's on, it's on my Amazon list, which I will link below as well when I'm done. Jane, am I doing a live of sewing it up? I don't know yet. I don't know. TBD. All right, so I think that's all of the green pieces. So now I have to decide if I wanna use black or pink. I think we need some black to kinda mellow it out a little bit. And then I'll put a pop of pink in the piping. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Yes, I think that's what I'm gonna do. All right, let's see, front pocket contrast band oh that goes over. so that's gonna be black 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 let me make sure i'm um that'll be black lower band and lining contrast band mm. Ooh, i think i'll do that mm. no i think i'll do it in green all right one more thing the lining contrast band i'm gonna do in green did you see my Silly Doritos tote bag I posted in the group? I didn't, Gypsy Woman, I did not. Did you make a bag out of Doritos? That's hilarious. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Hi, Linda from Wisconsin. See, this smaller rotary is kind of awesome because you can do little curves like this without using scissors. And then I need one more. I made it using an empty bag of Doritos. That's awesome. My mom made the kids some... Um, um, bags out of empty, empty candy bags one year for Christmas. So I've seen that before. That's really cool. What a fun project.
All right, so there are my contrast lining top bands. Okay, it's gonna be a cute little bag. It's just a baby. All right, so let's put this away. I think I'm done with the green. We'll get the black out next. JK Sewing, uh, I found an amazing discovery the other day when we sew across the end of our zip to stop the pull from coming off, I've broken many needles. So now I use the button sewing on stitch and it's fab, secures the zip. That's awesome. You could always just put a staple in it too. Just put a staple in that zipper tape and that'll seal it right up as well. All right. I wish they sold Junior Mint in a bag, not just boxes. Oh, Junior Mints would be a fun one. I love Junior Mints. One of my favorite. That's my go-to candy when we go to the movies. Junior Mints and a soda. Mm. I get to go see Barbie tomorrow morning. Okay. Hello from South Africa. Hello, hello. All right, so this, sorry, my eye itches. Okay, lower band, front and back. So I'll do two of these. It's nice sometimes when you can line it up right on the edge and just put a couple clips on it so it doesn't shift because this is kind of slippery vinyl too. No. Am I using the cotton woven? I am using that leopard print was, I think it was more of a canvas, a light canvas material. So I will interface it. And then I'm not sure what the bag calls for. I'm guessing Decaville light. So I will probably interface with some Decaville light on these pieces as well for the outside. What am I making today? I'm making a Shambhala bag, the either the Pakira or the Pachira. We're not sure. <laughs> I'm thinking it's the Pachira, but. And then the Road Tripster tote from Kadel Handmade. All right, so those are my two lower bands for the exterior of the bag. And then I want my flap panel. Yes, one exterior and one lining. Hmm, I need a lining piece for this. Why would I need a lining piece? Ah, she has it um, double-sided. So this is going to wear the thumb lock. This is that thumb lock piece right there. And it looks like she has the print on one side and this on the other side. So it's a double-sided lock. So I will need to cut more leopard print out with this one. Hi, Maureen. Brigitte, hello, welcome. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and before I forget, cut one out with this as well for the other side of this panel. Cause I'll get all done and think I'm done and then, nope, so let's just do it real quick. All 
Done. Two of those. Okay, and then lots of little pieces, but they're not hard to cut out. Front pocket contrast band. Front pocket contrast band. Ah, I think it's, I think that's like this piece right here along this front pocket. So we'll do black. Hi, Margaret. Um, that's the first comment of yours I've seen. Oh, how about the pink vinyl for the strap? Yes, I, sorry, I missed that. I think I'm gonna do the pink vinyl for the piping and for the crossbody strap. I think that'll be cute. And maybe, what, does she have connectors? Oh, she has connectors. Oh, I have the perfect connectors for this bag. I'm gonna use my little tiny new half D-ring, or I guess just D connectors, D shaped connectors. I don't know what I'm calling them. But I had the perfect connectors for this bag. All right, so one of those, done, done. Hi, Marley Mae. And then I need two exterior gusset pieces. All right, um, let's just keep going along the edge here. I think that might be the best. Yep. Does anybody else's dogs like do a little dig before they'll lay down anywhere? Like if there's blankets on there, Marley Mae sits there and she like digs herself a spot before she actually lays down. It's pretty funny. Oakley doesn't do that, so I don't know if it's a small dog thing, a Marley Mae thing. <laughs> it's funny, though. I have made this bag. Lots of pieces, but it's very fun to put together, just like a puzzle. Oh, good. I'm glad. I am excited to put this one together. Melissa, mine does that. He pulls his blanket into a pile and lays on it. Yeah, that's what she does too. <laughs> I'll wake up at night because she's sitting beside me, like digging in the bed. I'm just like, what are you doing? You cute, weird dog. All right, hang on. And the other one. Mm -mm. Let me do it that way. Sure. Why not? It looks good. Okay, so my dog's not the only one. That's good. It's a dog thing then. everything except the lining pieces. So let's cut out the yellow lining. Okay, oh wait, do I need me? No, I'm doing the strap out of that. And the piping out of that. So yeah, no, I think that's it. I think that's it for the black. I'll just go ahead and cut the vinyl real quick too and get that the pink out of the way. Oh yeah, that leopard would make a cute necessary clutch wallet. I agree, totally. I haven't made one of those. Oh my gosh, I haven't made one of those in like three years, I think. All right, so let's do our Crossbody strap, I think I'm gonna do a three-fourths inch wide, so we want three inches on this. So 
self-soothing. Yeah. That's cute. All right, here we go. This is three, right? Yeah, okay. Uh -uh. We are working on a Shambhala bag. The Pacura uh, or the Pachura? We're not sure how to pronounce it. Keep waiting for someone to tell me, but nobody knows. So there you go. I'm going to go ahead and prep this. I like to prep my straps as I cut so I don't have to do it later. I'm going to go ahead and mark this. I made my first one yesterday and watch your video on how to do it. Those videos show how much you have taught us from then to now. I know I was just beginning back there and huh, a little bit different. Mm, where's the tape I like to use? It's over by my machine. Just a second. <laughs> Marley Mae's like half on the bed, half off the bag. <laughs> All right, I know you know what you're doing, but I have to close my eyes when you cut. <laughs> I know, I know, I'm actually very careful with my rotary. I don't put my fingers in front of it. If anything, I have my long nails in front of my rotary, which is why I like my long nails. So I am actually very careful with it. I just kind of know how to do it. And these videos would be much longer if I did it a different way. <laughs> Digging and circling comes from wild instincts. They dig and circle till they down grass, clear away snow and leaves. Oh, there you go. Okay. That's kind of cool. I didn't know that. Look at that. We learned something new. Perfect. Hi, Julie from the UK. Welcome. All right. Strap is prepped. See? And I save myself some time when I go to make my video. All done. Okay. And then I just need to do my piping with this. I'm gonna do it. Usually her bags are a fourth inch seam allowance for the whole thing. So when I do it at an inch, it's a little too big. So I just do it one less than an inch of piping. Pachira, Pachira, thank you, Dawn. Thank you so much. Guys, we're sewing the Pachira. Yay, somebody looked it up. <laughs> Thank you, Dawn. <laughs> All right, so I am doing this at seven eighths of an inch wide piping. Oh, Ellen, thank you so much. Hello. Hi, Kathy. We're gonna be cutting out the road tripster. You can tell me what I'm doing wrong. Pachira, 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 Pachira. Perfect. Now, if I can remember that, that'd be even better. All 
I don't know how much piping I'm gonna need. I'm just gonna cut out a big old long strip. And hopefully that I think, cause it's a smaller bag, that should be plenty. Cause that's like, what, 54 inches. So that should be good. All right, so there is my piping strip. Oh yeah, sorry, I was telling them about the mini road tripster and they wanna know when that comes out because it's so freaking cute. All right, so there is my pink accent pieces and then all we have are my main lining and gusset to do and then we're done. I'll probably um, interface this later just because I wanna cut out the road tripster as well. So this will have to be interfaced later, which is fine. All right, we're gonna put this with this and then we got our lining right here. Hang that up. Here we go. Just an extra piece, yes. I've used this before. I didn't think I had. I have used this. How about that? All right. So we need two lining pieces. It's at Testers now. Target release date is August 25th. Okay. If you want to send one my way, I'm just saying I would love a copy. So cute. All right. Here we go. So two lining and then two gusset. And then we are done cutting out the pieces, but not done interfacing. That's okay. I really wanna get all the pieces cut out for both back, so I'll interface later. Probably after I get back from lunch. I'm excited. All right. There's that. And then I need two gusset pieces. Yay. Yellow is so dandelion. Yeah, isn't it cool? Kind of love it. I don't remember where I got it. I want to say maybe Wonderground. I think it's a Wonderground um, canvas. Are you still on tour, Lori? <laughs> Do you mean sewing the states? I love that. We're on tour. That's awesome. Um, Yes, we are still doing that. This next month in August, we're going to North Carolina. So that should be fun. I'm doing classes at the Garner Sewing Room and we're gonna do a Sewing the States there at the end of August, which is, oh my gosh, which is what, this month? Is it August already? Missy, is it August? Ah. All right, it's August. Hi, Sylvia. You got your cell right sewing machine. That's awesome. That's exciting. Is that waterproof canvas? Well, I think it's at least water resistant. It doesn't have that like plasticky backing on it. 
It's kind of the same front and back, so it's probably at least water resistant. Okay. <clears throat> Put this away, and we will start cutting out the tote, the road tripster tote. Do it. figured out. Oh, Missy, can I have the computer one more time? All right. I just need to print out another picture for this bag. I should have done that ahead of time. All right. So it looks like for the Pachira stabilizers, you just cut out, well, that's easy. You just cut out two main panel and a top of band. So that'll be easy. Thank you, my love. Let's see. Let me cut, uh, print out a picture of the road tripster real quick so I know what I am doing. Mm -mm -mm. Is there paper in the printer? Huh? There, there's paper in the printer, right? Oh, it's got a sleeve add-on. It's got, look at all these little add-ons she's got. Well, crap. What am I going to add on to it? All right, let's see. Sorry, I'm getting distracted. Let's print out this page. Current. All right, it should be printing. Okay, here we go. Yay. Ellen, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Okay. So for my road tripster. Oh, I don't know if I have enough of this black vinyl. Add-ons are the travel sleeve and the recess zipper. Okay. I think I want to add on the travel sleeve because that's pretty convenient. Um, Maybe the recess zipper too? I don't know. I really wanted to use my 90s uh, canvas again because I really freaking love this canvas. It's from Zorel. Go check it out. Um, and then I have this vinyl from Wonderground. How amazing is that? And then of course, I'm gonna mix some pink in there with it. And then maybe also, See, I don't have quite the right, oh, I was gonna do this one. I just don't know if I have enough. Okay, so this is my thinking. We'll see how it goes. All right. <gasps> Thank you. All right, so here it is. So I need to decide how I wanna do the front. All right, so here's the Road Tripster. And I'm using half canvas, half vinyl, Kathy, do I need to interface it with Decaville at all? Or is it meant to be kind of like a more non-formed bag? That's my question. All right, so we're gonna do most of it with this for the outside. And then my accent pieces will be this and maybe this. Ooh, this and black, I don't know. Okay, having a lot of people to chat with makes cutting out a bag a pleasant experience. We should all do it. Yeah, it actually makes it go fast for me. I actually really enjoy having you guys on here while I cut because it doesn't seem like such a chore when I'm just chatting away. Okay, here we go. And... Uh, I'm gonna have to be using my rulers because this is just measurements, which is nice because I didn't have to cut out a bunch of pieces, but then I have to use my brain more. <laughs> so I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> okay, here we go. Outer main. Outer main. 
accent panels. Okay, those are my accent panels. Slip pocket back. Ooh, I love the pockets on this. One's going like up and down zipper pocket. The other one's going like that. You have a couple of choices here for the pocket, so we'll see what all I choose to do. Okay, so let's start with the outer main. I need two of them. Two of them. In here. Stalled on a bag because I can't figure out the last step, but I will get brave and try it again today. Susan, I could help you too when I come. Here we go. Here we go. I have to think for a minute. All right, so. I don't know. I mean, this ruler's really pretty. It's the Lorne Mormino. Um, but all the colors, sometimes it's just a little hard to see. So I'll see if I can do this. I like it because it's eight inches wide, which is kind of amazing. Um, not a lot of rulers come eight inches wide. So it's great when you're making straps. This tote is one of my favorites. Oh, yay. Well, I'm excited to sew it up. All right. I'll try real hard not to say these measurements out loud that I'm cutting. I need to say it in my head. All right, here we go. It's funny, like I could use my cutting board, but I have gotten so used to just doing it with my rulers. I don't know if that's good or bad, but sometimes I use my cutting mat with the measurements. And now I can just go off of this piece for the second one. All right. Ah, it's going to be so cute. I don't explain this way or this way. I'm not sure, but this doesn't have a directional print, so it does not matter, which is kind of awesome. All right. So let's cut out the second one. Hi, Patty. Welcome, welcome. You did. We are live. I'm gonna do it this way so it's easier to see what I'm actually cutting here. All right, there are my front and back panels for this bad boy. And you know what? Oh, I really should. Do you need the computer back? Missy, do you need the computer back? Camera. I'm just pressing these pieces. Ah, 
Just put this in the water bottle. Just so they're nice and flat. All right, what are we gonna do next? I wanna do the travel sleeve. Is that on here or is that something I should have printed off separately? that check 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 double check what else do I need bottom accent panels are gonna be that so I want this slip pocket zipper pocket slip pocket back we'll do that I want it out of this Maybe I won't do the travel sleeve. Maybe I'll just do it this way first. And then maybe do another one with the travel sleeve. Okay, so this is my slip pocket back, which works kind of nice because it's the same length here. And yes, perfect. So that's my back slip pocket outer. I want to make more Architect wallets. I mean, two so far, and it's a fab easy pattern to follow. Yay! That's always good. That's always a plus. I should be cutting with you since I'm testing the mini version. Yes, you should. All right, so there is my back slip pocket piece. Check, slip, oh wait, no, bottom accent panels, whoops. Slip pocket, outer accent or main. Ooh, slip pocket, front accent. Ah. Mm. Yeah, we're gonna do that accent piece with the slip pocket zipper outer main. All right, here we go. You cut like I do because I never line up the mat. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> don't watch me. <laughs> I feel judged when I cut like this. <sighs> Listen, doing this on a live too and trying to think about doing it the correct way, like it's a lot, it's a lot. All right, we're gonna come down here and do this. Hi, Karen. You can make that an accent or in the same material. Okay. Well, I think I'll do the outer main, outer accent main and the outer accent bottom panels in a vinyl. I think I get what everything is. I think I got it. I may not though. We shall see. All right. Okay, 
used to say that I was really bad at math and then my ex uh, husband would be like, you so you're actually really good at math. I'm like, eh, when it comes to certain things <laughs> and cooking, I'm okay with fractions and all that kind of stuff. Go. Beautiful. Cruising along. This is the Road Tripster Tote. Okay. Done and done. Let's see. And then lining, lining, zip tabs. All right. We need some zip tabs out of this. Can do that real quick. Sewing math is specialized. We don't need to calculate. Yeah. <laughs> uh, for reals. Here we go. Let's see. Zip tabs. Cut one, three by three, and then you subcut. Okay. Oh, sorry. I said that out loud. All right. All right. There's my zip tabs. Well, I'll go ahead and just that to what we need it to be too. Right? That makes it nice and easy. Kathy, I like that. All right, I'm going to put a clip on these so I don't lose them. Those are my little zip tabs. And then, done. Lining, lining. Sorry, I'm just reading. Interior facing. Mm, I think I'll do that accent. And I think that's all of this that I'm gonna need. All right, we can put this away. How do you remember what piece is what without the pattern pieces? Margaret, afterwards, she has, um, she actually has little tabs that you can print out and clip to the pattern pieces, which is what I will do when I'm all done. I'll print those out and then go through after I interface them and clip them to the correct uh, label, label. That's what she has. She has labels. Um, so when I'm done, I'll do that. And then it'll be easier to find all my pieces when I go to sew. But I'm just going to interface them first and then I'll label them all. So yes, I will have those printed out and ready to go to make it easier. All right. So I want to do this cool checkered print. Hi, Jaded. Okay. So I want to do this with my slip pocket accent front. Yup. All right, cool. That'll be my slip pocket accent front. I like it. And then one of those slip pocket, those slip pocket. What was my other one I was going to do? I checked one. Oh, there it is. My bottom accent panels. Um, which I think I want to do with, well, since I did that with the checkered, I probably just want to do the checkered for that too. Where's my bottom of the bag? Is it boxed? It might be boxed. 
All right, we'll do the checkered for that too. This ruler is actually kind of perfect for cutting out this, this bag. Huh. Box bottom. Okay, that's what I thought. All right, so there are my bottom and my side accent pieces. Cool, cool, cool. Do I need vinyl for anything else? Interior facing. I don't know what part that is. I think I want to do it with this, though. Let's do it with this. Boxed bottom of the bag is the bottom accent pieces. That's what I thought. Cool. Perfect. And then the interior facing part, Kathy, is that like the top part of the lining of the bag? Hmm. <clears throat> Yep, okay, perfect. That's what I thought. We will do it with this then, for sure. I like that. I just gotta make my square straight or else that'll bug me. All right. using cork to make a nougat. Do I need to interface or use stabilizer for the cork? Julie, I would think no. Kathy, do you agree? I don't think she does. Not with cork. I don't think I want to do the tablet sleeve on mine just because I don't see me using a tablet with this. Um, actually, maybe I do. will use <laughs> I'm such a dork. Maybe I will use a tablet. <laughs> Okay. Da, da, da. Okay. That is all of this. I will be using webbing for my straps, I think. All right. So for my lining, I think I'm actually going to get my Backstreet Boy <laughs> in sync back out and I'll do my pockets with that but then the main pieces and the front pockets and the back pockets in the back I'll use this um canvas or no this is Lux. this is Lux nylon and I love it all right so slip pocket zipper lining back side I already did that didn't I Oh no, that was different. That was the outer, so I need the lining. All right, cool. We're gonna do this ruler. Here we go. I don't think, can I fit it? Ooh, I can, I can do it this way. Okay. 
guess we'll see when I go to put this back together if I cut the pieces all <laughs> correctly. Uh, all right. That there. I suppose Kathy could be yelling at me through the camera and I can't hear her too. All right. And then this one. Do you have that black and white checkered and webbing? I absolutely do. And that was exactly what I was planning on using. You got it. Yep, won't that be cool as the handles? Yep, that's what I was gonna do. All right, those two are done here. Lining, zip pocket back lining. All right, fine. I need this one. Hi, Natalie. We are now cutting out the Road Tripster tote. Are you planning on making a video for the new Kaya Papaya bag, Gloria? I would love to. That one is so cute, isn't it? The big Alyssa that she just came out with. If I can get around to it, yes, I would love to do a tutorial for that one. I have one out for the smaller version of it, and I absolutely loved making it. My blade's getting dull, not cutting as well as it was. Am I doing this right? When I have measurements, I have to just keep checking and double checking and rechecking and <laughs> cutting out the right, <laughs> the right measurement. Okay, there's that. I just needed one. Perfect. Full pocket lining. Is that going on the exterior of the bag, I wonder? Full pocket lining, I think it is. So I'm gonna do it with this pink color. All right. Here we go. Oh, that's big. No, wait. Yeah, that's big. And we need two of those. That's a big daddy. All right. So we'll start here. It's let's start here. The whole size of the panel. Okay. That makes sense. And I need two of them, correct? Yes. So I could go off of my main panel that I just caught, cut, right? <laughs> I could do that, but that's okay. I'm already, already doing this. This ruler is actually kind of amazing for this bag. It's the perfect size. crooked at the end. That's okay. That's okay. Yep, I did. We'll catch that in the seam allowance. Probably it'll be fine. It's fine. Okay, there's one. Is a leopard print cotton woven or cotton canvas. It's a cotton canvas. It is a cotton canvas. It's a thinner cotton canvas, but yeah. All right, and then I need one more of those. And I am going to grab this and go off of this one actually kind of sticks nicely to this material as well. Perfect. Mm. 
I've got my own little pattern piece going on here. Two mains. Yep, yep, yep. I will definitely be, oh no, I will definitely be labeling all of these before I start sewing them. For sure. All right. What's next? I think we're about there. Let's see. I chose two patterns with a lot of pieces. <laughs> a lot of pieces. All right. So I cut two of those. Full pocket lining. Interior main, two of those. All right, interior main, here we go. Hopefully I have enough of this canvas left. We'll see. I think I have enough for the interior main. Yes, I do, right? Oh, it's going to be cutting it close. Just a minute. I don't know if I have enough. Nope, I don't. So, okay. I'm going to have to think of, I'm going to do a different color for the interior main which is totally fine. I'm glad I measured that out before I um, started cutting it. I could do my interior slip pocket out of this. So let's do my interior slip pocket out of this and my tablet piece out of this, maybe. And then I can get another one for the main. That's what I'll do. See, problem solving along the way. Yay, Sandra, I'm glad. Are you gonna ship me one to sew up? I wanna do some examples. All right, so let's do that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Which way should I cut this? Let's do it this way. This is my tablet sleeve. I was like, no, I don't need it. And now I'm like, yeah, I want it. So this is my tablet sleeve. <laughs> and there. Sandra, um, I don't care. Surprise me. my tablet sleeve. Should I do that right? Yes. And then I need two of those. And tear slip pocket. Maybe. Okay. Here we go. Black canvas. Ooh, Margaret. That's a good idea. I do have black canvas I can use. I think I will do that. Hi, Lily. It's too slippery. Wish I could fit it right there, and I cannot. I could fit it right there, and that cuts off that. I think right here is my best choice. Let's do it. A lot of pieces, but worth it in the end. Kathy, I know. I knew what I was getting into. I knew it was a big tote, 
I mean, it's huge. So, and there's lots of different pockets to it, which is awesome. So I knew that getting into it. So we're good. I'm excited to see the mini one that you come up with too. Also, I always feel like the first time cutting through a pattern like this, where it's just measurements, the first time it takes you a hot second to kind of picture what all the pieces are. And then after the first go around, you're like, oh yeah, this is this and this is this. Like it's easier to visualize it after you've cut it out all at once and sewn it together. So I know if this was my second time cutting it out, it would go a lot quicker, but this is my first time. And then I don't think I have enough of this. So that was my tablet sleeve. Um, I don't have enough for my interior slip pocket, which is totally fine. I'll double check. I don't think I do. No? Mm, no. No, I don't. And then interior zip pocket. No. Okay. All right. Let me go grab a black. And I think I'm going to do the, yeah, I'm going to do the slip pocket and the zipper pocket in this for the inside of the bag. And then I'll do the main linings with the black, some black canvas. And that's going to be awesome. I like that a lot. Let's do that. Here we go. And then we'll be done. And then that'll be two whole bags cut out. And then I just have to interface, which I won't do on camera today, just because I need to go um, have lunch with my daughter. So we're going to be doing that. This is my interior slip pocket. I love big totes too, Margaret. Every time I sew one up, I'm like, yes. It's always so satisfying for sure. part of that slip pocket. Let's do the second part here. Julie, seven hour drive. Oh, I'm sorry. My sister's a 10 hour drive and I'm doing it in one weekend there and back. So I feel your pain. <laughs> Sometimes it's worth it. Everybody thinks my sister lives right by me, and she does not. She lives 10 hours away on a good day of easy driving. All right. All right, there's my slip pocket pieces, and then I just need my zip pocket. actually went pretty fast. All right, interior slip pocket and then interior zip pocket. Which way should I go? I'll go this way. Hmm. 
Mm, I know. That's Mary. That's what I had in my head too. <laughs> I like big totes and I cannot lie. Oh, my daughter just got home. I hear her. Good thing we're almost there. I just need one more of this. <laughs> he wondered who was going to say it. <laughs> oh, where's my spray bottle? Here it is. Melissa, I'm just starting the John Duffel for both of my boys for their boxing stuff. That's awesome. That's a cool looking pattern. Is that one? The John Duffel, is that Uh-Oh Creations? I've been wanting to make that one. It looks like a nice big one as well. All right. And then we just have this last piece here, right? Snap tab, um, swivel class D-ring tab. I don't think I'm going to do those. Um, I think after I go have lunch and come back, I think I will cut out the pieces for a recessed zipper for this bag. I think I do want a recessed zipper. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Or maybe I just want it open. And I'll just put a magnetic snap or something. What's the snap tab for um, Kathy? Does a snap tab close the secure the tablet? sleeve is my guess. All right. And then I just need to grab some black canvas. Yes. Okay. So I will do the snap tab actually. I'll do it out of the black though. Ooh, my tummy just growled. All right, getting hangry. That's never a good thing. All right, let me go get some black canvas and then we'll be done. Good morning, Mary. our interior main linings. Kathy, do you think I can sew this road tripster up on a live or do you think it's too many pieces and will take too long? That's what I'm wondering right now. So I would love to sew this up on a live. If you made this in leather, Katrina, that would be a lot of leather. It's big. It is big. Gloria says, I remember several, several years ago when you were fairly new at bag making videos. You have grown so much. Congratulations on your business success. Thank you. I've worked pretty dang hard at it. I appreciate that. Oh, 
I always like second guess myself when using black because it's super hard to see in videos when I sew up. But because we're only doing this for the main lining and the, and the tab piece, I think we'll be okay. I think it won't be a big deal. I do love black. It's just hard to stay away from. All right, there are my two main lining pieces. Kathy, if you plan a live for it, let me know and I'll cut one and ready and sew it up with you. That would be awesome, Kathy. I'll let you know then for sure. All right, so those are my two lining pieces. So all I have to do is my, um, that's my lining. Oh, my interior zip pocket. No, nope, I did that, right? And that's my interior main. And then all I have is my snap tab and my swivel class D-ring tab. And then we're done. So let's just do that real quick out of, actually, yeah, let's do it out of the black. Yep, yep, yep. Let's do that. Super easy. And then we're done. Then we're done. And we cut out two whole big lots of pieces bags so we did good guys Let's see uh -huh, uh -huh. i'm just doing some math in my head okay <laughs> right right yes I want to go right here. And right here. All right, there are my snap tab pieces. And my my hands are giving up on me. And then my swivel class D ring tab. Okay, done. Beautiful, right? Did I do that right? Three much. <laughs> okay guys we did it so when I come back home later today I'm going to I have a bottom stabilizer I've got my strap panels I'm going to use webbing and then prep my zippers and interface all these lovely pieces that should go pretty fast especially since I'm not doing it on camera so hopefully i probably will sew one of these two patterns up live um and then the other one will be pre-recorded so guys thanks for joining me i hope that was fun for you it really i mean it really helps this go fast when i have you guys to sit and chat with so i really appreciate it all right i hope you all have a fabulous what's today tuesday i'll have a fabulous tuesday and I will try my hardest to link everything below that we talked about in the description. So give me just a little time to get all those links in there. And you'll be able to find all of these goodies that I used in today's video. All right. Thank you, guys. Have a fabulous day. And we'll talk to you later. Bye.